Susan here. Welcome back to my channel. Today I have a full review on our GE laundry set that we bought a year ago in May. Okay, so it's, it's now uh, getting on late June, so it's been a year and a month, basically. Um, uh, boy, have I got some news for you. <laughs> um, <clears throat> Okay, these, uh, the, this laundry set, the washer is model GTW485BMMWS. That is the washer. And the dryer model number is GTD45EBMKWS. I will put those in the title as well as description and everywhere else I can uh, so you know which ones we're talking about. <laughs> um, these were bought to replace the set we had, the GE set we had for 14 years. Okay, They lasted forever. They were a trooper. These, not so much. Now, um, what did we get? We, we bought these at Best Buy, and the total bill for both of them and warranty was $1,545.81 um, for both of them, and 5-year Geek Squad warranty protection on top of the year that comes with uh, from the manufacturer. So we have them covered for six years. Well now five because the manufacturer's warranty is over now. And um, I know whereof I speak with the warranties. These have been warranty repaired. Well the washer has twice now already. Okay. First one was hmm, around Christmas the first year we owned it. So, uh, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December, we're talking seven months in and we had to make a warranty claim. The control board in the back of the washer uh, went on the fritz. It was explained to me by the repair guy. These are a new line and they, they had to upgrade the control board. And some of them are acting up and doing nothing but drain. They won't go to other cycles. So it was like, okay, well, you know, they're, they're, they're ironing out the wrinkles, etc. It's not cool, but it happens, right? So we were pretty accepting, even though at the time it was a whole complicated mess that put us without them for a while. Because not only was it Christmas time and they shut down the repair shops for the season, for Christmas, but the owner of the repair shop that looks after these units in our house um, was in an auto accident as well. So that set everything even further back. So that was a fiasco in itself. Uh, right around Christmas time when you need things clean, right? Um, anyway, they finally got it fixed and the repair on the board worked fine. The guy was here, he was in, he was out, he knew what he was doing. Very efficient. I, I can't say enough good stuff about Cooper Appliances. They've been super. Well, this past week I had to call in uh, Geek Squad for their re uh, warranty repair uh, because this washer, again the washer, um, instead of doing nothing but drain, it would not drain. It would not drain no matter how I set it. It just it, it would add more water in. It would program that way, but it would not drain at all. Okay. So the repair guy from Cooper Appliances has been here this morning, it's back up and running, and I am doing my first load in it. <clears throat> so
So I thought I would pause the load so that you can hear the noise that comes out of this thing. This is routine. This is normal noise. This is not um, out of the ordinary. That is the agitator turning things back and forth to clean the clothes. Now, we don't find it such a big deal, but some might, depending on where their washer and dryer is set up. Ours are in the bathroom, and obviously we have a door on it. So if we require it to be quieter, we can close the door, and it needs the sound quite a bit. So we're not terribly worried, but for those of you that have it in a hall closet, who have it closer to their living areas, that might be in it, uh, uh, enough to say, nope, I can't do this. I can't do this one. Um, I will say this set is kudos for efficiency. The spin, the centrifugal force in this washer spins clothes to the dryness that they're just damp going into the dryer, which saves on energy for the dryer part. It is awesome that you don't have to wait forever to dry your clothes. This has um, auto sensing for uh, filling it with water, etc. It takes the, load, uh, the, the weight of the load and it figures out how much water they're going to need to clean them properly. Now that could be just over the, the clothes level. It could be a little bit more than that. It depends on what settings you've used. Uh, right now I'm on warm temperature water and cold rinse. The soil level is heavy because it's my husband's work clothes in there. So that is going to agitate a little bit harder too. Um, it's on speed wash because to me this is just a small load. It's just his clothes and a towel. And here we go. Okay, we're going to switch over now. It stopped agitating. Click. The lid is locked, which is a signal it's going to start spinning. It's going to spin the wash water out and add the rinse. And it's it's draining, guys. It's draining. Yay. This hasn't done that in a week. Okay. Um, okay, on the options panel, there is auto soak, second rinse, extra spin, second rinse and extra spin, and a deep rinse. Select when adding uh, fabric softener. I use fabric softener sheets in the dryer, so I don't worry about that in here. There is a stain pre-treat. Tomatoes, dirt, grass, and wine. Okay. I haven't had occasion... Well, I've, I've used grass before, after um, whippersnippering, because my clothes were grassy. Um, and I've used the dirt before. But, um, generally this, this washer gets clothes clean. It does an excellent job of wringing them out to the point of drying. It takes very little time at all. Um, the only downside on this is the control board has gone. And now this, this repair today was the pump was replaced under warranty. So that's two major repairs within the first year and a month. That's just the hose hitting on the back of the machine, pumping. Um, the noise might be a factor for you. It might not. It isn't with us. It depends on what you can live with, right? Now, on to the dryer. The dryer... Oh, one last thing before I get to the uh, dryer. The washer 
you must balance your loads properly and sometimes it will, no matter how much you try, it will throw it off in the agitation part of the wash cycle uh, and it will go off balance. Very easy to fix. You simply press this button and it will pause and it unlocks the lid so you can, you can sort out the load and rebalance it. Then you close the lid and you hit the button again to play, I guess. It's got a big arrow. Uh, and it comes off of pause and resumes the cycle. If you push this button and hold it for three seconds or longer, it will cancel all programming and leave it as it is. It's just, it forgets everything, all your settings. So, okay, now on to the dryer. The um, dryer has been A1. It has never let us down yet. Um, it has extended tumble, which I leave on. That gives me a little bit longer time to get to the, the dryer and fold the clothes out, etc. without the wrinkling. Um, it has temperature settings. Cottons are regular, casuals are medium, delicates are low temp, and air fluff is no heat at all. The cycles have cotton, casuals, delicates, and time dry and their corresponding temperatures according to this, okay? You can have a signal turned on when the dryer is done, it will signal you um, with varying loudness. You can go from off all the way to loud, depending on where, again, where you're locating your laundry set, where you need. If you're, if you're putting them in the basement, you're going to need a loud signal to get up the hill, up the stairway and, you know, let you know it's done. Simple push to start. It has sensor dry. In other words, you can just set it for uh, more or less dry, you know. Um, it will sense how much moisture is left in the clothes and dry it accordingly for time-wise. Okay. That is the sound of the, the uh, pump. Um, what I do like about this set particularly is the size of the drums in them. The washer and the dryer are huge. Uh, this one is 7.2 to 7.4 cubic foot uh, in the series. I believe this one is the 7.2. Uh, Dura drum. Um, resist corrosion for lasting durability. It's Energy Star. It's 120 foot venting. It has the flexible installations. Um, very easy to clean the tray here. Clean tray. And a quick tip on that one is if you use dryer sheets, one, try to find a dryer sheet now. <laughs> Can't find the dryer sheet in there. Not offhand. Quick tip though is if you use a dryer sheet or if you don't, okay, you get some of the lint start rolling and lint will collect it onto itself. It'll, it'll help peel itself off of here. And if you do use dryer sheets, every once in a while, I like once a month I do, um, is get this in your uh, sink in the kitchen and clean it with soap and water and a little bit of a like a nail brush or a toothbrush to get into this netting, this screen, because um, dryer sheets leave a residue on this, which will eventually block off the airflow. And if you if you 
do little maintenance tips like that, it will keep the airflow going and keep this working super. Very easy to access it, clean it, and so on. Uh, the drum in the washer is huge. I can do comforters like one at a time, but a comforter fits all the way around in there and washes perfectly clean. So um, anyway, the inner guide on the washer is 160 kilowatt hour per year. And on the dryer, it's 900 kilowatt hour per year. And that's about midway on the scale that they have. And the washer is really low. It uses least energy. So this washer is really efficient on energy and the dryer is midway. So it's not the worst, but it's not the best, but it's, it's pretty good. It depends on your settings and how you use it. So anyway, um, for those of you that like the star ratings, this set, <laughs> I am gonna have to give it three out of five stars. And that I feel I'm being generous with uh, and mostly it's on in favor of the dryer. Okay, the dryer is, is still okay, it's great. It does its job, it has not failed yet. Cross my fingers, knock on wood. Um, but this washer has been a problem child, so that's what's knocking the score back on the set. So anyway, I hope you uh, enjoyed the review. I hope I have uh, put forth some information you could use should you be choosing a washer and dryer set for your home. That is the honest truth <laughs> with this set. Um, and to each his own. I mean, if you can live with the problems, then, then I'll by all means get it. Um, I am so happy that we got Geek Squad warranty to cover us. Uh, for five years because I have a feeling I'm going to need it especially at the washer but um, there you go there's honest opinion and this is this is uh, my full review on this set we've owned it for a year and a month so uh, I know what I'm speaking of and there is the load is just finishing now so you got a sample of what kind of noise it makes, etc. The dryer is fairly quiet unless you turn on the signal. Thanks again for watching and um, we'll see you on the next one. And if you're new to my channel, please have a look around. And if you are so inclined, please hit the subscribe button. It sure helps me out a lot. If you like this video, if you found it helpful and useful, please give me a thumbs up that helps too and uh, don't forget to ring the bell send notifications to your email inbox every time I upload a video I do a lot more than just reviews I do gardening and baking and all kinds of stuff have a look around this is a variety channel and I'm sure there's something up here that will uh, pique your interest thanks again and we'll see you on the next one bye for now